Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Tony and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program. Welcome to an hour of chair yoga. We're going to be spending the first part of the class on the chair, second part of the class down on the earth. So making sure your chair is comfortable and stable and that you have some space around you to move and that you're not bumping into anything. And let's begin. Deciding for yourself whether you want to sit into the support of the back of the chair or if you want to sit away from it. Feel at a comfortable distance for you. This is all about listening to what I'm saying and then deciding for yourself if that suits your body, if it suits your body today, if you need to adjust or adapt anything. And please know that there is no way of doing any of this wrong. Listening to your body above listening to me is the most important thing. You are the master of your body. You know more about it than anybody else on the planet. So adjusting, adapting, trying things in your own way is a really great way to move through a yoga practice. And if something doesn't suit you, don't do it. We'll do another movement. And if you need to rest, or simply sit one piece out, then please go ahead and do that too. This is a recording, of course. So when it's enough, you can always pause and stop or skip forward to the relaxation at the end. Rooting down through your feet, picking up through the toes, and it doesn't matter if you've got socks on, shoes or slippers on, See if you can spread the toes really nice and wide. And then keeping those toes lifted where we lift the arches of the feet, push down through the balls of the feet and the heels left and right as evenly as possible. Push down so much that you may even feel your upper legs start to light up in the muscles. And then when you're ready, soften the toes down to the earth nice and gently, and then release any pressure. Close your eyes or soften your gaze if you're comfortable doing so. And take all of your awareness down to the soles of your feet. Notice the support underneath them. Notice the areas that your toes and soles of your feet are connected down to. Allow the weight of your legs to be supported by your so relaxing any tension and tightness that you may not have even noticed was there. You can even imagine, if you like, going down from the soles of your feet, roots, roots or cords moving all the way down through the foundations of the building down into the earth itself. As deep and as wide and as strong as you can imagine. And then once they're as deep as it feels good to you. You can give it a little energetic tug and notice just how connected that is. Imagine it, sense it, feel it. And this gives us a foundation of support. That allowing of our body to relax into the support of the earth. And then we'll bring our awareness back up to the soles of your feet if you're not already there. And then draw your awareness up through your legs to your seat, where your seat meets the chair. And then even out your weight, left to right. You may even notice those two sitting bones underneath you as you shift from one side to another, depending on the kind of chair you're on. And we want to even that up as best as we can. Sitting the shoulders above the hips. So a lot of us sit back with the shoulders or forward with the shoulders. And if we sit up with the shoulders above the hips, we're sitting on top of the sitting bone. So the spine, the spinal column is supporting itself a little more than the muscles doing that. If we're sitting back, then the front of our body has to work a little bit harder and as we're sitting back into the chair. Same thing if we sit forward. If we're sitting with our shoulders over our hips, then our bones 
humans are doing the most that they're able to. Take a big breath in. Exhale, allow the upper body weight on that exhale to relax into the chair. And you can do that a couple of times, really relaxing the muscles around your abdominals, the lower back. So once again, we're trusting that support underneath us to hold our body in space. So from the pelvis all the way down to the feet, we're rooted and grounded. And then we lift up through the spine, lifting up through the vertebrae, heart lifts, crown of the head reaches towards the sky as we tuck the chin just a little. Roll the shoulders back. And then settle the shoulders when it feels okay for you, away from the ears. We broaden across the collarbone so we get this broadness across the upper chest. You can even notice here if your head is over your heart, if it's more forward, which is usual, then imagine bringing the base of the skull back in space just a little bit. These are all the mindful things we do for posture. So when you're ready, with all this in mind, take a big breath in. On an exhale, let the tension go and make any soft, small, or big adjustments you need to. Take a couple of breaths for that to happen on those exhales. So the place where we're sitting is not a place of tension, place that we're mindful of our posture, but we've adjusted it to work with our body, not against it. From here, if you haven't already, soften your gaze, lower your gaze, or close your eyes if you're comfy. And then take a moment to notice your body and how it is you've chosen to sit. Notice how you're doing today. Asking yourself that question, how am I doing in this moment? You might notice thoughts racing through your mind. You might be curious and notice what those thoughts are. Not needing to follow them off in a story, just, huh, oh, this is on my mind, I'm thinking about this. You might notice any emotions or feelings that are present. No judgment, just a curiosity. Then we notice our body. Once more, adjusting always the things to make it easier for you, more comfortable, releasing tightness and tension. You might notice some particular sensations or areas of your body that are very, very foremost in your mind. Maybe that's because you need to take a little bit of extra care there today. You might notice your energy levels. You might notice a whole bunch of things. Just paying attention. No stories as to why. Just notice. And then start to notice your breath and your body. Breathing in and out through the nose if that's comfortable for you. And if it's not because of whatever reason, does not matter. Keep an easy breath going. An easy, the easiest breath you can find. And we start to deepen our inhale and lengthen our exhale. as possible. So that's the next thing. We smooth the breath. However long your breath is, there's no wrong way to breathe. We're steadying it out as best as we can. All the way up and all the way down. And on that inhale, feel into the expanse of the breath there is a softening and letting go. And 
See if you can feel that expanse in the upper torso. So your lungs, front, side, and back lungs. Uh, back ribs, sorry. So front ribs, side ribs, back ribs, as your lungs expand and contract. If there's any forcing or straining of the breath, let that go. So even if that means the breath gets a little smaller. Keep that movement of the breath in the body and your awareness, that smoothness and steadiness of breath as best as you can. And this is the breath we'll keep coming back to, this expansive breath. And at any time you can come back to stillness and find yourself with this breath. It regulates the nervous system. Rooting down to rise, broadening across the upper body and adjusting yourself for that mindful posture, keeping that steady rhythm of breath going, moving in through the neck. This is the inhale on the exhale. Let's look over towards the right, inhaling back through center and exhale over towards the left. Now keep the collarbones broad as you do this side to side. Going just to that edge of breath. And noticing how this feels in your body. Inhaling and exhaling. Next time we come over to the right, we'll stay. This is the inhale and the exhale. Let's take the chin down towards the chest and up towards the left. And then down towards the chest and up towards the right, side to side. Collarbones are broad here, feeling into the back of the neck, upper shoulders, maybe the throat, back of the head. You may feel this in lots of different places. Rolling the chin down. And the next time that chin comes down towards the chest, wherever you are, let's leave it there. On the next inhale, we're lifting the chin. Exhale, drawing the chin down. Now a great feedback here is to place the hands over the heart. And when we lift the chin, you'll notice that you get to a point where the heart wants to lift and we want to Arch the back to assist ourselves. Those hands on the heart are gonna stop you from doing that. So we lift only as far as we don't uh, move further down into the spine. In the exhale, we're drawing the chin down. Very mindfully, slowly going at the rhythm of your breath. On those inhales, when you lift the chin, consider lifting and lengthening through the back of the neck as well, not just compression. And then the next time we come into an exhale, whenever that is for you, we pause and come back through center, allowing those hands to drop. Nice big breath in. Exhale it out. Now let those shoulders sit back and down a bit. Let those arms fall nice and heavy. Let's take a breath here and stay with the exhale. On the next inhale, let's take that right ear up towards the sky. So we're finding the length through the right side of the neck rather than crunching the left ear towards the right, left shoulder, finding space here. Drawing those right fingers down towards the earth gently. Inhale, up through center, and then exhale, left ear lifts, left fingertips reach. Inhale through center, and we're going side to side. 
Letting those fingertips reach towards the earth, collarbones forward, shoulder blades just snuggle towards each other. Stay with that easy breath. Notice if you can still find that expanse and softening of the breath in the body. And let's take two more either side. And when you're ready, we'll come back up to center and release any tension in the arms. You can take those hands back to support if you like. Last one in the neck. So on the inhale, we're keeping the shoulders just as they are, only we're jutting the chin forward. Keep the collarbones broad. So we're jutting that chin forward and on the exhale, and then draw the chin in towards the throat as we draw the back of the skull back in space. Inhaling forward and exhaling, coming back as far as you can, but with the breath. Inhaling and exhaling. Keeping up that range of motion. And then we'll come back through center when you're ready. Dropping those arms down next to you on the inhale. Let's draw those shoulders up by the ears. Exhaling them, rolling them down and round. Keeping the neck really nice and long, the spine neutral as we really isolate into the shoulders here. Now those arms can be dangling down. If you prefer to get those elbows involved and that feels better for you, make this movement your own. There's no wrong way to do this. We're getting that range of motion through the shoulders. You might notice that one side is very different from the other. No stories, just a huh, interesting. And then when we come to the next exhale, let's pause and take that round in the opposite direction. You might notice this in very different parts of your body. Mm -hmm. And let's take another few breaths here. The next exhales. Let's pause and come back through center, keeping those arms dangled down yet again. Let's turn that right palm up from the elbow. Let's inhale the fingers up, exhaling down. Stay here. That left hand can come to the side of your chair for support if you wish as we come maybe from the shoulder. And if that doesn't suit you today, then stay bending from the elbow. The option is with that support of the left arm, we're coming up and over, keeping that right sitting bone grounded. So the tendency is as we come over to one side, we'll lift to find a little bit more room there, but consider grounding that right foot and sitting boat into the earth, and then we get the space through the right side of the body. Inhaling and exhaling. Great place to stay right here, or option to take the arm up and over. Shift the right ribs to the right a little, and you can do that by pushing into the left hand on the chair. Hand can reach or take the back of the skull and reach with the elbow. We're finding that space on the right side, breathing in through the right ribs, finding that expanse and softening. Let's take another two breaths here. And on the next inhale, let's come all the way up through center, releasing that right arm. Turning the left palm up from the elbow, inhaling up, exhaling down. You can stay here. Or with that right hand on the chair for support, if you wish, we can start to move from the shoulder. Keep the movement with the breath. And that option, of course, is to take that left hand up and over, keeping that left sitting bone grounded. 
move with your breath length, not holding the breath at any point. And you can stay here. Option to keep moving. You can pause at any time, of course. Option to lift that, those left fingertips up, maybe over. Sit the left ribs towards the left so we get this connection on the left side and breathe. Fingertips can reach your hand behind the head, reaching through the elbow, breathing into the left rib cage. Let's take another breath here. Staying to that exhale. And then we inhale back through center and release the hands. Beautiful job. Hands coming to the top of your legs. If you are sitting into the back of your chair, I highly recommend you coming forward as we get further down into the spine. Rooting to rise. On the inhale, let's draw the shoulder blades towards each other. Heart opens, front ribs come forward as we arch the back. And on the exhale, push the fingertips towards the knees as we push the back of the ribs towards the chair and round, scooping out the belly. So we've got extension of the spine on the inhale and that flexion of the spine on the exhale. Now it's going to look different for each and every one of us. So start small, move with the breath. Inhale draws you forward and the exhale draws you back in space. Can take this down to the feet if you want. On that exhale, push down through both feet evenly as we curl onto the back of the pelvis. And the inhale, sending that tailbone out behind you, driving the heels of the feet back towards the chair. Inhaling and exhaling. Option to stay here on the inhale, option to take the right arm up, exhaling down as we curl, and then we'll go to the left. Inhaling and exhaling. Great place to be here. We can bring a little twist in here as we lift up through one arm. Let's Look towards that side, bringing the opposite shoulder forward. Exhaling down, inhaling, going to the opposite side. Keeping moving with the breath. And adjust this movement for yourself. Let's take another three, either side, six more breaths. Mm -hmm. Last one here, more or less, but go at your own pace. And then after that last exhale, we'll come all the way back up through central. Big breath in when you're ready. Exhale it out. And we're going to be moving through a seated sun salutation here. So I'm going to take you through the moves very slowly and then we'll do it together. Watching me do it first. And then we'll follow along together. I'll turn to the side so you can see me. On the inhale, lifting up through the heart, extension through the spine. On the exhale, we're sitting the belly down on or in between the thighs, chin tucked. Inhaling, pushing through the hands and lifting the heart up. Exhaling down. The next inhale, Pushing through the left leg, drawing the right knee up, arching, exhale, tucking the chin down towards the chest, inhaling, coming back through center, dropping the 
leg and coming back to neutral. And we start it all again on the other side. I know it sounds a lot, but I'm going to guide you through everything. Inhaling, arching. Exhaling, laying the belly down. Tucking the chin. Inhaling, drawing the heart up so we've got an arch in the back. Exhaling, taking the head down. Heart height. Inhaling, push into the right leg, lift the left knee and lift the heart. Exhaling, chin comes in towards the knee. Inhaling, we drop the foot and lift up. And exhaling back through center. And this is what it looks like when we have the arms. Inhaling. We'll be doing it all again on the other side rather than we go through it again. So let's do it bit by bit. You have a few options when you come forward. You can come down at 45 degrees, hands are supporting you, or you can come to forearms. Head at heart height, belly on or in between the legs, chin tucked in. This is great for any pressure, eye conditions, head injuries anything where you have higher blood pressure. Otherwise, we're rounding, taking the chin down. When we extend, we're lifting up through the heart, so the tailbone up behind you, and exhaling down to whichever height feels good to you. So that's your option. Take as many breaks as you need to. You're gonna go through it once on one side, once on the other side, and then pause, and then we'll do it once again. Rooting down to rise. Hands on the legs. On the inhale, arch the back. We've already been here, drawing the shoulder blades back towards each other. Exhale, we come down as far as you want to. Push into the hands, lift the heart, lengthen through the spine. Exhaling down once more. Push into the left leg on an inhale, lift up through the right knee and arch. Exhale, chin down towards the chest, may not ever get there. Next inhale, take the right foot down, lift the heart, exhale, back through center. Let's do it all again on the other side, nice and slowly. Hands rest on the thighs, inhale, arch the back. Exhale, lower yourself to your height. Push into the hands, lift the heart, lift the gaze. Exhale, down we come again. Now push into the right leg, lift the left knee up, arch the back. Exhale, chin down towards the knee. Inhale, left foot down and we lift the heart back through center. Every inhale is an arching of the back. Okay, let's take it all the way through both sides. Settle the breath. Take a big breath in. Exhale it out. Inhale, lift up through the heart. Exhale, we come down. Inhale, lift up through the heart. Exhale, we come down. Push through the left leg. Inhale, right knee up. Give it a little hug and lift the heart. Exhale, nose towards the knee. Inhale, take the right foot down. Lift the heart. Exhale, back through center. Other side. Inhale, arch the back, lift the heart. 
Exhale, taking the belly down towards the legs. Inhale, arch the back, halfway lift. Exhale, down we come. Push into the right foot. Inhale, left knee lifts, arch the back. Exhale, chin in towards the knee. Inhale, left leg down, lift the heart. Exhale, back through center. Big breath in. Exhale it out. We're going to do the whole thing again. Option to keep the hands down. Option to use the arms. And this is the last time we'll do it. Big breath in. Exhale it out. Inhale, lift the heart, lift the arms. Exhale as you come down, hands sweep down. Halfway lift. Hands to the shins, lifting up, exhaling down. Inhale, lift up through the knee and the heart. Exhale, nose towards knee. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, coming back to neutral, all the way again on the other side. Inhaling, lift the heart, lift the hands. Exhale, we're taking that all the way down. Using the hands on the shins or the thighs, inhaling, arch. Exhaling, back down we come. Push into the right leg this time. Inhale, left knee lifts, lift the heart. Exhale, chin towards the knee. Inhale, left leg down, arms up. Exhale, back through center. Big breath in. Exhale it out. Nicely done. And then we'll take the feet a little wider to get that external rotation. Hands on the thighs. Making sure that you feel stable here. And then we inhale. Round in a circle. Inhaling round and forward. Exhaling round and back. Big or small movement. You can get the shoulders, the head, the neck involved. You get the hips involved as we roll through the pelvis. You can even get the feet involved as you push down through one side and the other. Allow this to be as smooth a movement as possible. And then we'll pause and take it around in the opposite direction. Inhaling and exhaling. Mm -hmm. And coming all the way back through center when you're ready. Knees come in, washing the knees side to side. Settle back into that steady breath, expansion and softening. Here we are, down on earth, coming all the way to our back. Knees to the sky, feet to the floor, and then we'll pick the pelvis up and just shuffle it a little closer towards our heels as we lay it down, getting that length through the spine. Rolling one shoulder blade and another just softly underneath you so we get that openness through the chest. Chin tucked a little, and if the throat is tight here, please place a firm folded blanket or a towel underneath your head. And we breathe. And see if you can find that expansion and softening in all directions. So not just the front ribs lifting, but the side. And as you breathe in, the back ribs will press into the surface underneath you. Steady and smooth. Mm -hmm. 
then from here we'll draw that right knee in towards you, give yourself a little hug. You've already been here today when you were on the chair, and then we'll circle through that ankle nice and slow with that steady, smooth breath. And then slowly taking that round in the opposite direction. You might have some snap, crackle, and pops in there. Do it as slow as you can. Mm -hmm. And then coming back through the center, give that knee a little hug in. And then the option here is to extend that left leg out long. Ankles are flexed on both feet and spread those toes wide. This is a lot in the groin here. You're gonna keep that left knee bent, foot to the floor. Otherwise, we're pushing that left foot or the entire back leg into the earth as we're drawing that right knee up into the chin. And we've been here a little bit today also. So this is the inhale. On the exhale, I'm gonna curl and draw the knee in towards the nose as we push through the left foot and inhale back through center. Exhale, we're curling in, drawing the shoulder blades off the earth and coming back through center. Let's do that another few times. Nice and slow and steady. Three more. On the exhale, you're not only drawing the nose in towards the knee, knee into the nose too and pushing through the left leg and we come all the way back down resting the head left knee bends foot to the floor unless it's already there and we'll cross that right ankle over the left thigh from here we've got a figure four pushing that right knee away from you and the option here is to draw that left Leg in the thigh and towards the ribs, and we've got thread the needle here. Hands behind the knee in front of the shin or another place that feels comfortable for you. And we've got that dynamic tension as the right knee and ankle pushes away. And that so we're gathering that left thigh in if the foot is lifted. And we're breathing, inhaling and exhaling. Option to stay here, option if that left foot is lifted, to extend the leg up, we reach the hands over the right ankle, and then maybe gather that shin in towards you, and we breathe, spreading through both sets of toes here. And your last option here as you draw that leg in towards you is to draw the chin in towards that left knee and we're rocking all the way up onto the mid back. And then walking those hands back down as the head comes down, bending the left knee and taking it down to the floor if it was lifted. Push into the left foot, shift the hips to the right, arms and a cactus or a T here. You've got a figure four of the legs. Now any SI joint issues, releasing that right leg, knees come towards each other and you're coming into a twist with the knees over towards the left. No SI joint issues, you can stay here in a figure four or come into a bind with that right thigh squeezed in towards the left, maybe even an extra bind on the ankle and we're taking those knees over towards the left side, right shoulder is anchored, and we're breathing. You can take the gaze over that right shoulder if it's anchored down towards the earth. That left hand can rest on top of the knees. You can of course play with where those knees are in space if you need support underneath them. And we breathe here. Keep the breath steady, feel that expansion and softening. any tension, please try and relax those areas so you're not trying so hard here. 
when you're ready, the gaze comes to center, the shape comes to center, and then if there's any bind, we release and bring the hips back to a central place too. Roll the shoulder blades softly underneath you and we're back to our expansive breath in this constructive rest. We'll draw that left knee in, give yourself a little hug, and then we'll circle through that ankle. And then round in the opposite direction, really nice and slowly feeling into every part of that circle and that control that you have over it all, sinking it with the breath. The next time we flex that ankle, spread through the toes, great place to be right here, drawing that knee in. Your option is to extend that right leg out, pushing down through that right heel, all the way down through that right leg as we gather that left knee in. Great place to stay here in Apanasana, or this is the inhale, and we're reaching crown of the head away, from that, those left toes, the left heel, or right toes, or right heel, sorry. This is the inhale. Exhale, curl the belly in, and we lift the chin in towards the chest, draw the knee towards the nose, and inhale back through center. Exhale, we're curling in, and inhale, lengthening. Only going as far as the breath allows you, though. More or less, you've got two more to go. Last one here. Coming back through center. Take a breath in. Exhale it out. I'm bending that right knee if it's not already there. Left ankle goes on top of that right thigh. And we've got a figure four here. Spread through those left toes and flex through the ankle to protect the knee. Option to simply stay here or to gather that right thigh in. Hands come either side of the thigh behind the knee, front of that shin, depending on the length of your bones. And we breathe, opening up into the left hip. And this may be enough of a great place to stay here keeping that breath steady, or extend that right foot up towards the ceiling, maybe a nice bend in that knee or towards straight. Hands reach up and over towards the knee, the shin, and we can gather that leg in as that left knee pushes out. And the last option here is to draw up the nose in towards that right knee, coming onto the round of the back. We've got that dynamic tension there, breathing. And on an exhale, we're coming all the way down, releasing that leg, right foot comes to the floor, knee bent. Push into the right foot, shift the hips to the left. Anchor the shoulders down and then you decide on your twist here, again, any SI joint issues, your knees and ankles are coming towards each other, lifting and over to the right. Otherwise, you can take that whole figure four shape over to the right side or binding. You get to choose. If that left shoulder is rooted, you can glance over the left shoulder. Any tension here, see if you can soften it, come back to that Expansive breath on the inhale, and exhale, releasing tightness. Being gentle with yourself, always adjusting things. If anything is just building tension up for you, see if you can adjust things, make it easier for you, allow yourself some softening. Few more breaths there. And then when you feel ready, gaze comes to center. If it's not already, and that entire shape comes through center, we release the left leg, 
readjust yourself back to a central place and we'll gather those knees in, give yourself a little hug, rock and roll from side to side. And then we'll take those feet up towards the sky, opening up through the groin. Hands can come to the outer thighs, outer shins, you can keep the heels down or with the heels lifted, depending on the length of your arm bones, maybe you grab towards those outer feet. And we're gathering those knees down, taking the sitting bone down towards the earth, tucking the chin so the back body is really rooted and anchored to the earth. Opening up through the groin, across the belly. Now, can you still find expansion and softening here? Through the ribs, take that breath with you. If the feet are up towards the sky, you can bend those in, draw the knees in towards you. A couple of knee circles, if you like, hands to the knees, one direction, and then maybe the other direction too. And then any last coming together of movement to end your practice, otherwise, Knees to the sky, feet to the floor, knees draw in, ankles apart, we're in constructive rest, or coming to your relaxation. And that doesn't have to be in a particular shape. You can choose how it is that you choose to relax, any extra blankets, turning the lights down, eye pillows, anything at all that suits you. And then, settle in and we settle down. Making those adjustments to maybe the blanket underneath your head, extra layers as we lie in stillness, our heart rate slows down and our circulation slows down so we get a little chillier. So it's great to have extra layers. start to breathe. Take a big breath in all the way to the top of your breath. Hold for a beat when you're really full and then exhale it out. And take a couple of breaths like that. On those exhales, let go of all the concerns, the worries, thoughts, the stories about your practice. And this is an emptying. And then we let the breath go. And we allow the body to be supported by the earth underneath us. Notice those soft exhales and let them release breath by breath, moment by moment. As tension starts to dissolve, as your bones get heavy, the shoulders and pelvis rotate. softens as the muscles of your face release and relax. And run your tongue where your teeth meet your gums, top and bottom, front and back a few times to release the jaw and allow a bit more moisture into the mouth. your joints to find themselves a little bit more spacious. softens ripples from the crown of your 
starting to enter into every cell. The body starts to trust that it can simply let go. And your mind may be busy. I consider it like a in the next room that you can kind of hear but you choose to tune out. And just like that conversation in the next room, you'll get drawn back in as you hear one thing and another and as soon as you notice, huh, I tune that out. The thoughts will not stop. We're not trying to cease the thoughts. We just let the thoughts go and separate our awareness from them. start to discover our awareness is not our mind. Our awareness is what is watching the constant circulation of thoughts, the curiosity, huh, that my mind goes again. Exhale breath is an opportunity to deepen into that calm. summer sun above you, warming your face, and allow that softness, that warmth to ripple through you, the wave of relaxation as you allow your body to open up to that sunshine. Stay here for as long as you like, absorbing that sunshine. If you wish to finish your practice, start to notice the space around you without needing to look at it. Start to notice your body, crown of your head to the tip of your toes and fingertips, tip of your nose. And start to notice your breath as it is, that gentle rhythm. starting to invite a little deeper breath in. And exhale like a soft sigh. And allow that more mindful breath coming in to ripple into movement. Breath. 
fingertips, toes, wrists, ankles, maybe even your head side to side. And let that movement bring you to a place that you wish to finish up today, slowly taking lots of time along the way. Pauses, an intuitive movement. Until you find yourself gathering into whichever shape you've decided to finish up with and there's no particular right or wrong place. Settle down into the support underneath this and then lift up through the upper body, through the heart space. Hands coming into any gesture of closing today that suits you. Take a breath in when you're ready. On an exhale, dropping the chin slowly towards the chest, closing the eyes or softening the gaze. Noticing that sunshine healing inside of you. 